Okay, as we join in this, you can see we're on Bullfinch Street, so let's go and investigate these woodland luxury apartments, see what they reveal. So let's have a little peek at this plaque. Luxury apartments. Ah, so this must be a point where I live. I was going to suggest maybe I could uh, press all the buzzers, but sadly not, so let's go home. I think I've got to make myself look pretty for the um, female character. Either that, or maybe as I'm a, as I'm a wolf I can go and uh, go to the toilet in a, a bush. No, doesn't seem to want to let me do that. There's another plaque here, though. Stay off the grass. Oh, must be talking to me. Is that urinate on grass? No. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, there's somebody behind the tree. It looks like a female. Don't make me come over there. Look. I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... <gasps> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Very odd. Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No. Can't. Damn it. I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Ah, so that looks like you that's the beauty and the beast. Is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Look. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. Unless it's the Blue Beast from X-Men. I think he's called Beast. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. See you later, beauty. It's not what you might be thinking. Oh, you don't even know what I'm thinking. Right, here we go again, into my apartment. Hopefully, unless there's more bushes for people to jump out on me. Ah, oh. Now, do I check my mail, or can I ring this bell and wake him up? Ooh, suit of armour. My catcher needs to dust this guy. Oh, come on, you got to let me do something with it. Hopefully, I've touched this, it's going to fall and wake the guard up. Oh, heavy sleeper. What about the bell? Can I ring the bell? Oh, come on, let me ring the bell. <sighs> hey, you wink. <laughs> Probably for the best. Mr. Grimble is asleep. Let's go and see if I've got any mail. Been a while since I got any mail. Oh, Some I've day in a row. still not got any mail. Okay. Oh, what's this on the floor? Damn thing fell off again. How much longer is this so going to go So, 204 on? is my room. I didn't really get to see all the names on that, then. I think the Rimble. sheriff would get a permanent listing. Rimble. I don't recognise that name at all. Let's 
It's quite funny, I've been doing the interaction scenes in this and this is the first time I've actually got to control the character so I was actually wondering how on earth you do actually control the character then but apparently it's the standard WASD. Okay, let's get the lift. Oh. Oh. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Judy? Ah, there's the beast. Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, I'm telling the truth. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Ah, <gasps> I like the beast. Something's going on. I don't know what the effects of actually lying to people are. I, I guess you must remember later on. Um, I've not actually sp explored all these um, interface things that you can examine. I think I'll do that after I've actually finished it, to not so not to disturb the gameplay video. Damn, so you think he would actually just unplug the phone from the wall, but I guess that's easier. Fridge apparently. A freezer. I thought I'd be able to interact with a note on the wall there, but nope. Let's see what a wolf would keep in a freezer. Hmm. Ice cubes. Empty. Let's see if some something nice to eat in the fridge then. Oh, leftovers and ketchup. <sighs> Delicious. Right, let's see. In a way, I kind of don't like the way that it, it basically tells you exactly where to interact with, because that's part of the fun of these games, actually interacting and looking around. Ooh, let's have a look at this. Chinese food. Now we're gonna have a look at Bluebeard folder. I've heard of Blackbeard, but not Bluebeard. Who or what is Bluebeard? Never trusted this guy. Not a nice guy, apparently. Oh, Chinese food. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Hmm. Can't seem to eat it. Let's put the fan on. Let's have a little look over for... There appears to be a pig on my couch. Called Colin. Who is snoring. Um, don't know about you lot, but I don't really have a pig at home asleep on the couch called Colin. Ah, oh, let's see if I can... I can use him. Poke the pig. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the pig is from th Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf. So where's the other two little pigs then? Got a smoke? Ah. Oh. Pig shouldn't smoke, it's bad for the health. Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. <laughs> this has gotta stop. 
You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? You're putting all of Fable Town at risk. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. I'm drinking my drink, pig. Screw you. <sighs> Delicious. Nice. <laughs> I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> so, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? <laughs> Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh dear, I think I've upset Colin. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. I thought I'd take a screenshot for later. For be a good little custom video thumbnail. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough. Let's already. get the pig drunk. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, How's he yeah, picking on a drink right. bourbon now from Probably. a glass? There we go. Let's give the pig the drink. I want to see how he holds it in his little pig, put, pig paws. Or hooves, That's whatever they are. Ah! Because at least have given him a straw. Well, here's my surprise guest. Where's the pig gone? I think. I wonder who it is. Hello, who is it? Hello? Hmm. Much better. Big B! Oh, you're Snow. not Come Snow. Snow White Snow. and the Big Bad Wolf. 
snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? Out yes, where are we going? The building. We have to get there. Oh. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who he is. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Hmm. I don't recall any any uh, fairy tale characters with ginger hair. Oh, what's that? Looks like a. Oh, it's the. Is it no? I thought it was a security guard's jacket, but. It's not going to be the, the frog under there, maybe? Oh, it's going to make me jump. What is it? Oh my, it's a head. It's a head under a jacket. You knew this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Well, I don't think she's going to be coming later for that date. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think I don't. He... I think the woodsman's been set anything. up. Just... Give me a second. It's just terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. This is where we need CSI. There's obviously something in the mouth. Let's a ticket, maybe. What is chewing gum? Oh, oh, oh! Dead lips. What? It's a ribbon. Ribbon with a ring There's on the end. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Hmm. Now, shall we examine the stump or the eye? Let's go for the stump. Strange cut. Mm, Did this meaty. What could do something like that? Sharp knife, maybe. Or something very sharp, or something with magic. I would, maybe a woodsman's it. axe. Let's examine her eye. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Well, it's not like you'd miss her. Monster would do this. Some tracks there, maybe. Bit of blood. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Follow the blood. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Right, so the blood was over here. Here we go. Ooh, 
leading towards a spook sp spooky dark bit. Let's see if I can collect a sample, blood. maybe. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. So if this was CSI, he'd be able to tell you the direction of the blood spatter and whether it was from someone running or walking. So, oh, I can see another ribbon, maybe. Fabric. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Did I see something over here then? No. Let's go and have a look in the bin. Or maybe climb on the bin. Just some loose trash. Well, there's something there though. Blood on blood yeah, on the gate. Blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and let the trail I found early. So it might not be her blood. Blood. Still wet. Sharp Can enough. Can I climb over the fence, maybe? No. I think that's it for clues. Can I leave her and go out and explore? Maybe? Something there. Is it part of the tree? Nobody there. Oh. Okay then. We're not going there then. Okay. She's not got jeans on, she's got a skirt on, hasn't she? What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. I think you best take that skirt off so I can fully examine it. No. We should move her before anyone shows up good we'll idea find more at the business office she'll be in the books i'm sure of it big p do you have any idea what's going on someone brought her in from the outside that makes sense there's no signs of a struggle but how do you know hmm maybe the fact that she's got no legs and arms to make herself here found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. Let's hide the body. Well, hide the head. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. Okay. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out and do what you need I to guess do. It's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully, he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Ah, so does a murder. Is that a warning to, for us to keep away? Oh, guess this must be my office, or... Are you blind? I don't know, they're waiting for me. Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. <laughs> I don't know what character he is. He didn't seem very nice. 
Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, so this is of Crane. course I Don't do. Don't interrupt this. me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running out smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? See, even Bigby agrees with me. <laughs> and competent as he is. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Yes, Any I have clues. Of evidence, you two know what the hell you're doing. Mm. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Try a pin, but I think it's evil doing so. Was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. <laughs> I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. All right, do nice your job, job, Sheriff. Well, we'll find someone who can. There we go. You know what? Stop. <laughs> we'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. <laughs> All right. It would have felt good, though. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Third cigarette. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's... Oh, so it's a stress massage. Oh. Is... Is he gone? It's a yes, flying monkey. Thankfully. With... With... Booze, maybe? Oh. <laughs> There's the wine. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. <laughs> Thanks, for some, some nice uh, replies there. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. So that's Buffkin the flying monkey. He knows the ones I'm talking about. Hmm. There's bound to be information on her here, somewhere. I think there's flying at monkeys in Wizard of Oz. Real but... name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Let's have a look. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Oh, but Hi. there's a mirror, right. but there's a lamp I can rub. I've got to rub the lamp. Hi. Worth a try. Ah. Yes, that's right. There we go. Let's go and talk with the magic mirror. Hey. Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. That's a pretty cool uh, pitch. I'm going to take a screenshot mirror. of that. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Hmm. What's the Show movie? me the woodsman. 
Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. Oh, shit. The woodsman looks a bit drunk. I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Okay, let's have a look at. I don't know her name. I don't know, I don't that know her is. name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Snow White. She's right behind me there. Not much of a request. <laughs> She's in this very room. Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> well, that's it for that. I guess I need to find out the mystery name. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Okay, so I've got to return here at some point and find out this name of this other character. Maybe it'll be in one of these books. Oh, the monkey's drunk. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go and look in these books. What's this here? Tarot deck. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Hmm. Let's go and have a look over here. Book of Fables. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Must say the artwork is really fantastic on this there. So that's Snow White. Well, there's the wolf, Snow White. I think I, I can't remember. Is it Snow White with the poisoned apple? Uh, there's the woodsman, the dwarfs, Red Riding Hood. Don't know who that one is. Beauty. Oh, Beauty. Days. Beauty and the Beast. Ooh, I found a ring, didn't I? That one, that one's got a ring on there. Let's look at that one. That looks promising. I've seen this before. I don't this know what fable that is. Man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Let me go back to this once a look at the rest of the pictures. Brothers. Oh, there's the um, Headless Horseman from Sleepy Hate Hollow, is that? Scared shitless. What's that? <laughs> Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Now, is that meant to be me, the wolf? Hmm. Me. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Oh, so it is Snow White then. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Right, let's have a look in this other book. So, we're looking for this ring. Um. The symbol on the ring, which I'm guessing it's gonna. I don't. I didn't really show me exactly what the symbol was. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name. I'll go look it up. Alin Lyra. I 
means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, Donkey skin? His daughter, Faith. Ah. Uh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Ah, uh, okay, so that was one that died. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Well, there's some crazy eyebrow action going on then, Snow White. So, I think that looks like that's it now for this location. Um, well, there's no point in talking about the mirror because I know. Unless I can talk about this Lawrence guy. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Oh, here we go. More options. Prince it's Lawrence. Prince Show me Prince Lawrence. And he looks like he's What's dead. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Okay, so look at the, the, the father. The old the father. Oh, honey, he's dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Oh, we know Faith's Show dead, me. so. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not <laughs> my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. No right, way. I think that's enough Anything for this. Do? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. It's Bigby. for me. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Toad, got your glamour yet? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait. Hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! Oh, what dear. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Right. Ladies first.
Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Let's maybe go and see investigate. Him. Could you Prince Lawrence, I think. Well, where to first? Hmm. Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Well, it looks like Prince Lawrence was dead, so I think I'll go to Toad's Toad apartment like first. Help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. It looked to me from that mir mirage that he was dead anyway. So this must be like a choice of one or the other, so we're back to the woodsman's apartment. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! That's not Wait Woody. Here. Can't see anyone there. Shit. Okay, then I think this now brings us to a. That's enough, all right? Oh, Just no. shut it. I thought there was going to be a pause. Yeah, I think that's going to bring me to a good point where I can pause this now and leave this for the second segment well the third segment so if you've enjoyed watching this so far and you're enjoying following along you know who do you think's going on doing all the killings you know leave a comment uh, thumbs up and subscribe thanks a lot for watching this is Shirley Rocks out